Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world away and we have got another mod. Is it a mod? Is it a collector's thing? Is it something you want? It's from Mike Lane, I'm sure you're going to like this one. Okay, you've seen my things in the past from Mike Lane, you've seen the uh, decals, you've seen the uh, the luggage uh, space uh, tool set, you've seen the uh, speedometer. Mike Lane is a god in the DeLorean mod world. In fact, if you want to get hold of Mike, you can get him in over on the Facebook book group or by DeLoreanMods at gmail.com. And I'll put that information in the description and occasionally I'll pop it up on the screen here at completely random intervals. So uh, if you want to know it, watch the whole video and I'm sure it's going to come up with the contacts. Because what I'm going to be showing you today, just like those big number plates down there, which are from Mike Lane, the uh, the, the big uh, futuristic one, is his collector's edition number plates, which look just like these. How cool is that? Now, one of these is an upgrade for one of Mike Lane's upgrades. <laughs> I'll explain that. Uh, let's explain that now. Uh, I'll get the first one off, which is the out of time number plate. Now, this here is what actually comes on the vehicle when you buy it. And we have to put the stickers on that, if you remember. We turn it around, you've got the little magnet points on that. That's, that's the one that comes. This is the one from Mike Lane. Look how much sharper that is. And it's already got the stickers on for you. So this is this is Mike Lane's one. This is the um, uh, Eagle Moss one. Uh, the colours are a lot better. And as you can see on the back, the whole thing is a magnet rather than just those two bits. So we need to know how we can attach that. As a matter of fact, when we go to doing all of these, there's the rest of them there. I'll show you each one. Um, we're going to be attaching it to the uh, dashboard, uh, to the to the dashboard, I can be, to the uh, rear fender in a slightly different way. So I'm just going to put that down just like that. And we'll open this packet up here because in here we have got a guitar pick, which I have to thank Mike for because I do actually play the guitar. I've got an EX, uh, an Ibanez EX series, if anyone's interested. Uh, I do like playing a bit of lead and I do like metal. <laughs> um, and anyway, um, so what we're going to do Let's get this uh, old one out. This is the uh, one of the first upgrades that you could get from Mike. And this one does have the match to the back. You can see one of my uh, magnets have actually come out. But that doesn't matter because we don't need that sort of thing anymore. What we've got now, when it comes out, is a magnetic strip that we can stick into this side. Then we can just attach any magnet we want to this. Also in here, if I can get it out, Mike's also put some extra decals for the number plate if you still wanted to use one of the originals or if you want to uh, put some of these stickers on one of the other number plates you're going to see here. They're the spare ones there. I will go through all of these number plates but the first thing we'll do, let's get this uh, stickiness in here. It doesn't matter what way around this goes because it is symmetrical but that fits in absolutely perfectly in there. And then once that's in, we don't have to worry about those magnets before because this will completely magnetize uh, the unit. So what we'll do is I'll get the one that Mike's done and we'll just put the out of time one in there. And as you can see, that fits in there absolutely perfectly. So there's the out of time number plate. Now say we didn't want that one. Let's show you one of the uh, all the other ones that we've got. Oh, just gotta get it out of here. There we go. Right, the next one we've got, I'm gonna take them off the, uh, the, the, the spindle I've got here is the futuristic number plate which just looks like that. It looks good, doesn't it? For the, the end of Back to the Future and the start of Back to the Future too. So let's take that one out. Very good. Okay, the next one, I'm sure you know this one. From the film Ready Player One, we have Parcival. So you can really uh, deck your number plate out really cool with that. And then the other two, I had to do a bit of research and I'll be honest with you, I had to ask Mike uh, because um, I have actually got Ready Player One and you would have seen me open this in one of my previous videos because this book came with one of my loot crates, which was good, uh, but I haven't actually read it. I watched the film and uh, I've heard the book is way better than the film, uh, but in the book, um, the registration for the DeLorean is actual Ecto-88. Uh, I think the reason they couldn't use that is probably some sort of licensing and stuff like that, which is why they put Percival on there. But if you want it as it was in the book, then you could put the Ecto-88 number plate on it. <laughs> Looks like that. And then the last one we got is that the guy who wrote um, Ready Player One, uh, a guy called Ernest Klein, uh, he's actually got a DeLorean. Uh, and I'm going to link one of his YouTube videos at the end uh, of his DeLorean car. And his one uh, has actually got the Ecto-88 number plate. Uh, but obviously, based in Texas, he's got the Texas uh, version of it. So this is the uh, 
Ernest Klein inspired number plate. But do you like how good we can just swap them out as as much as we want? Um, I don't know which one I'm going to have in there, but I have to say that this set uh, is way better just for the out of time number plate than the original one. The other thing you did notice on the original one, can you see you've got the little screw holes in there or little nuts that you would have to attach this on it? Obviously, that one hasn't got it on the one that you get with Eagle Moss. So uh, that looks absolutely amazing. Uh, when you get this kit, let's take this out as well. I'm just going to take this out and put it back on. They're all mounted to this lovely uh, bit of, <laughs> I don't know, it's sort of like coloured card, but it does remind me uh, a lot of uh, what Marty McFly's cap looks like in um, Back to the Future 2. But uh, I'm just going to put these all back on this card. And you can see this is how we get it when it's presented to us. Just like that. I've also got a, a spare one on here, uh, which actually goes, it's actually this one that goes on that vehicle there. The one that I've just put on there is the one that goes on the uh, the back of this number plate here. But I'll change that round. It did the job, so looks good. But that's what that looks like. What do you think of that? If you want to get this for yourself, I'm going to put the link here for the DeLorean Mods group. Uh, and also going to put Mike's email address here, which is DeLoreanMods at gmail.com. I'm impressed, but the problem is, Mike, you've gave me the choice. And having the power of choice is difficult for me because I don't know which one I want to have on now. I was going to have the Back to the Future 2 one. I do like the Passable one. Perhaps I'll put a little Ghostbusters logo on the side of the car. Um, but there you go. It's your own personal preference. So uh, if you like what you see, get in touch with Mike and get these for yourself. Hope you like that video. Take care.